Alrighty, so now that we know how to um, add noise, what we're going to do is um, I'm actually going to go ahead and go back to the object level here and rename this to our um, master terrain. And then we're going to go in here. So this is like our first height field area. Um, and we are going to learn how to make um, um, masks in this lesson. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to make another height field here, height field, and I'm going to set the display flag to here. So see how we have these two different height fields in the same level, right? So height field here, height field here. We can later on combine these, which is like the cool part. That's why it's good to have them within the same uh, geometry. Anyway, so with this added, now we can add, um, I want to add a mask. There are several different types of ways of adding masks here. So we can use an object and we can use some different features as well. So if I go here and I hit, you always have to hit hide field in order to add anything related to uh, terrains. So hide field, mask. So these are the different types of masks that we have. We can draw a mask. We use the mask blur a lot. We can, and this is a very useful uh, mask as well by feature. Um, and then by object. So let's let's start off with this one. We're gonna use, uh, we're gonna create a mask. And you can see that this is giving us an error right now because we need to have some nodes feeding into this. So I'm gonna start off with a sphere. And this is just a primitive. So we have to feed in a primitive and then we have to add our guy here. So now you see there's, we don't really see anything here and that's because we have our, um, we have the scale of our uh, sphere very, very small. So now we see that we can see the mask. Um, and then again, uh, something that I wanted to tell you guys, you can see the resolution is not as sharp. There are several different ways of like fixing that, but we'll, we'll get into that in a moment. So um, this is how you add noise. But this looks like not so interesting, you know, what are we gonna do with this? Um, there are definitely different ways of like making adjustments here. Um, I'm gonna go and maybe we can add that um, mountain. It's sort of just like adding noise to something. So I'm gonna set the display flag here and I am actually, let's set it here. And what I want to do is change this to polygon, I think. Um, and then what we're gonna do is change the element size here. And this to say 50, oops. Oh, why isn't it working? The keyboard, there. So we can see that we can start adding noise here and again, we can, oops, we can make adjustments here. I meant to say 50. And then whatever adjustments we make here would, um, again, um, make a difference to this guy here. So now that we have that, let's see what has happened to our um, mask here. So that's what that looks like. Like a little more, you know, natural than having a perfect sphere in our environment, right? So, um, because you hardly ever find perfect spheres, but whatever. Um, anyway, so now I don't like these edges. Like, how do we fix that? So yeah, like I said, there's several different ways of fixing this. We're not gonna, there's a way that we can increase the resolution of our uh, grid. It's already pretty good. So one thing you wanna know is that if you increase the size of the spacing in the grid, the resolution will get worse. And if you reduce it, it gets better, right? Because our grid is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller, hence the lines are getting clearer and clearer. So we're gonna stick to two right now. That's one way of, you know, getting sharper results. And then there's another way. So we've added a mask. 
And what I'm going to do is add a hide field mask blur. And then if I set the display flag here, you can see that it's blurring it. We can increase how much we want to blur it, you know. And this is useful, especially in terrains, and I'll show you why. I know that, that that's sort of like messing with my eyes a little. It's hurting my eyes. But what we are going to do now is actually we're going to use this mask um, and add noise only to that area. So let's just move all of this and clean it up a little. So what we want is to add noise here. We can we can add noise here too. But that's this is a better way of doing it. So this is how I would do it. So um, so I'm going to add hide feel noise, and you can see that it's added the noise. Let's set the display flag, but it's not really using the mask because we have a second node here that lets us feed in a mask. And now you can see that we have that mask area. So what's happening here? Why is it not adding it? Um, I want the height, right? So what I'm going to do, there, again, there's different things that you can do. Add, replace. Right now you don't see the difference between add and replace, but um, we'll, we'll again learn about it. Like replace completely replaces any other uh, noises that we may have added. So sometimes that go that's good, sometimes it's not, but we can blend. But I'm just going to stick to add right now. So again, amplitude. Let's see now what the difference is between some of these values. So I'm going to hit maximum. And so now you see whatever is just like higher and isn't going below. So that, that, that's also something that's super beneficial and amplitude. Um, and there's a few other things that we can do. So you can see that we have this selected. What this does is it's allowing us to offset our scale to a place where we may think that it looks better. So I think this looks a little better. Let's see what our mask looks like. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So this is what our height field looks like right now, but what we want is for it to blend a little better. So here, if we make adjustments to our mask, you can see like we're increasing the blur radius and that's blending it a little better. So we have one teeny tiny hill here. Again, I can increase the height to as much as I want and then go down here. We can expand our mask too, by the way. So if we don't like that, what I'm going to do is go here, hit tab, hide field, mask, and we are going to expand our mask here. So let's go here. And if we choose this, you can see how it's expanding it. We still have our blur. And then now we have uh, you know, um, oh, not the blur radius, sorry, I meant to adjust the um, amplitude here. So you can see how this looks a little smoother, a little more natural. As you can see, some edges are, you know, blending in really well. Um, and then we're, we're going to add a few more details around. So, um, so that's how you add like an individual mountain wherever you want to, like, Again, I can move my using the transform. So if, if I add a transform right here, transform, what I can do is move this guy, the mask, wherever I want to, which is kind of cool, right? But what if I, I was happy with the mountain that I had right here? Or was it? Let's just undo, right? What if I just want to move this whole thing? Um, there's a way of doing that. We, I think, yeah, I think that's for the future lessons. We will have to isolate the uh, base from it, and then we can move it as a separate object, which we'll definitely learn. 
um, in the next couple of lessons. But for now, again, you can move around the transform and then I would make adjustments to the um, noise accordingly. But this is pretty cool. Starting to look good. What if I want to add more roughness to it? What does that do? What if I wanted to adjust this? This is kind of interesting too. I have to look more into this, but again, like I said, it becomes smoother or you can see, start to see it's, it's adjusting the way that the mask is applied. So again, roughness and these two go hand in hand. So I liked it the way it was before. And I'm gonna, if you reduce the roughness, you can see what that does. So slight roughness isn't bad. This also makes adjustments similarly in terms of that. And you can see, we don't want a super rough mountain. Anyway, so that's, that's how you would make a mountain wherever you wish to. All right, so now that we have this mountain, in the next lesson, we're going to learn about how to add more details, adding a pattern node and um, the erosion node. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.